So, <clears throat> I've been thinking about this topic for quite a while. And I decided it's time to do it. It's time to bring this video to my audience. What are we gonna talk about today? Layering fragrances. That's right, layering fragrances. I'm gonna talk to you about three fragrance combinations that I use from time to time that I think are pretty good and you may enjoy too. So meet me on the other side of this intro and guys, we're going to get right into it. I'll see you in just a second. What's going on everybody? You guessed it, it is your boy Trey Spence. And guess what? You guessed it also, we are back at the scene of the crime. Listen guys, we are knocking on the door of 2,900 subs. And for me, that is a big feat. So if you are coming by this channel and you wanna help your boy get to that 2,900 sub mark, well, you know what to do. Also, you can also share the content and like it. Give it a thumbs up and always be active in the comment section and remember the best part about doing any of that is 100% free but if you don't like it I got a money-back guarantee for you so now what we're gonna talk about today layering layering some people like to layer their fragrances others do not um, I like to layer now I have two methods of layering, hear me out. What I mean is um, I'll use one fragrance as a primary scent and the other as an accent to that scent. So one of them I'll spray on more heavy than the other. Now, normally what I do, if there's two fragrances from the same, that have the same scent profile, so to speak, but one's a little bit darker, deeper than the other one uh, from the same house, I'll go that route as well. So some, um, if they have a smoky nuance to it and I want to sweeten it up a little bit I'll you know mix those two fragrances if one is a little bit woody and uh, too masculine and just too too serious I may uh, use a lighter fresher scent with that to um, to just enhance it a little bit and just you know tone it down or tone it up you know what I'm saying richen it up or or uh, uh, or tone it down, just, you know, which, whichever way I feel like that fragrance needs to go. Now, tonight, or the, whenever, on this video, I got three different combinations that I want to talk to you about. So, let's get to it. The first one is from the House of Mancera. And I've worn these both ways. I've worn this one, Cedrot Boise, as the primary scent. And layered it with lemon line also from the house of Mancera and I went vice versa I went with this as the primary and hit myself with a touch of this depends on the weather if it's cooler outside I'll wear this if it's cool and pretty that is as the primary scent and then I'll hit myself with this if it's summertime I'll go with this one and then hit myself with the blast of this now both of these are citrusy different types of citrus but still both of them are really citrusy this one gets paired to compared to Aventus a lot. I can see it. I don't think this is quite um, the scent profile or quite the fragrance that Aventus is. If you have an older batch of Aventus and you understand what I'm saying, that's just a beautiful fragrance. It smells good, nothing like it. Not even the clones. It's just one of those frags that you have to get, but we're not here to talk about that. Is this a good smelling fragrance? Absolutely, much like Mont Blanc Explorer is a good smelling fragrance and Club Dean and We Man Intense is a good smelling fragrance. Whether you think it's close to Aventus or not, it still smells good on its own and you should have it and have it in your collection. Now, this one is very lemony and that's where the, the name Lemon Line comes in. And the two of these together, this one, when I wear this one, when I wear the Mancera Said Rot, as the um, primary scent and accent it with this one, it just amps up the citrus, just amps it up. This one, believe it or not, is a little bit more masculine than this one is. So when I spray this one on this, because this one has a little bit of uh, that, that burntness or birch or, 
it's it's not as over the top with the citrus in this so it actually gives this one a little bit of umph. now when i wear this one as the primary scent i again hit myself two or three sprays of this which is Cedrop Boise and it gives this a little bit uh, more of an umph, but it tones down some of that citrus if that makes any sense and when I wear this as the primary scent this one is a little bit woodier and a little bit sweeter and this one amps up the citrus got it get it good I hope that wasn't too confusing but I will layer myself with these two as a combination. And again, depending on the temperature, if it's pretty in the middle of the summer, just hot, I'll spray this one. Also, another reason why I'll add this one to this one, this one lasts longer. This one lasts longer. The uh, Lemon Line has a lot better performance than Sedge Rock Boise. I don't get outstanding performance on this, especially for a Mancera fragrance. Most of the fragrances that I have from the house of Mancera, you spray those bad boys on, they're on, but it is what it is. This one is not a monster performer. It's not horrible, but it's not monster. So there you have it. And I'll come over the top of that with this one and add a little more citrus to this one when I'm wearing this one as a primary scent. When I wear this one as a primary scent, this one adds a little bit more masculinity and a little bit more, um, a little bit more wood, a little bit more, um, I think, I don't know if that's birch or whatever that, smoky nuance that this has to it and tones down the citrus because remember i'm wearing this one so i'm going five or six sprays so when i spray this one it just gives it a little bit of extra in there that's one layering combination this next one is probably going to surprise you a little bit because these are not from the same well the next two are not from the same house okay we got ck summer i think this is 2017 and Nautica Voyage. And this is an older batch of the Nautica Voyage for those who care. It is a metal cap. Um, why these two? Now, this is my chilling around the house. I'm not doing nothing but watching football, relaxing all day type of combination. I'm not the biggest fan of the scent profile of Nautica Voyage. Does it smell good? Yes. Uh, does it smell like a voyage? I don't know. It does smell good. But the reason that I play these two off of each other, melon. Melon. This one has a great salty melon type of note. And this one, CK, summer, I want to say 2017 or 2018. This one has a nice lemon citrus type of vibe almost like you're having a drink i even have a little five mil of these two just mixed together that i'll just grab sometime and just just spray on it comes off okay not quite as good as if you spray both of them on it, it does okay it does okay i like the i like to just to layer them as opposed to mixing them it looks pretty in the bottle but you get a better effect when you spray them individually for whatever reason. I do not know, you just do get a better effect. Um, most of the time when I do this, I wear this as the primary scent and then come over the top of it with this one. Um, for a cheap fragrance, this lasts a pretty good while, especially if you get this on your shirt. And again, when I wear these, I'm not doing anything strenu strenuous. May run to the post office, may run down to the local Piggly Wiggly or to the, to the DG or something, um, nothing strenuous. Post office, just something light, something casual. And again, back to my recliner to finish watching the ball game. That's what I do with these. Now, again, this one is more of a lemon, lime, oh man. Maybe even like a, a lime peel, if that makes any sense. That's what it smells like. It just has this great citrus vibe. And I can see myself sipping on a nice adult beverage, a nice little drink, you know, with the with the rim garnished with salt or sugar or whatever, with a nice slice of lime and a nice slice of lemon. That's what that's the vibe that this gives me. And then again, you come over the top of that with this, which is not a voyage in the melon note in this and the saltiness, and you just get man. The combination is really 
is really, really chill and relaxing. And that's Nautical Voyage and CK Summer. 2017 or 18 or one. But this is a nice little fragrance. And the thing about these CK Summers is the performance on them is not the best in the world, but I will say this, in doing some testing for this video, I managed to get some on my bed sheets and I could smell it for two or three days. So it, it's stronger than you think that it is especially if you get it in the right material. So I definitely recommend when you wear these, spraying them on your clothes and you'll get more longevity than you really, really think. And again, underrated little fragrance right here. I, I like it, I like it a lot, CK1 Summer. And the last but not least combination, I haven't had either one of these fragrances very long, but they just happen to be my scent of the day. Were this to work tonight, uh, not receiving the most compliments on my job right now, but it's been very, very slow. I imagine it's gonna pick up because Thanksgiving is right around the corner, but it's just been slow and the time change has not helped that out. Okay, you've heard me talk about these two cheapies quite a bit. From the house of Camera, we have El Dorado Kingdom, which is a heavy tobacco fragrance. And we have what is the name of it? Let me get this right. Royal Apoptic Dogwood Blossom. And remember, I love this bottle because it is a Notre Dame bottle. And I want to show you where the, the levels is on this. Now, I did decant about 10 mils of this out, but I've worn this one a few times. Now, why these two? Because they smell like high-end, niche quality fragrances. They really, really do. This one is ultra, ultra sweet. And every time I mention it, uh, it reminds me of Tobacco Vanilla from Tom Ford. I have a reviewer, not a reviewer, a sub who says that it reminds him of uh, Oud Wood. I can see that as well, but I get more Tobacco Vanilla. But either way, we're both picking up on uh, Vanilla. The tobacco in this one is there, but it's toned down. Now this one is in your face, smack you tobacco. So when you layer the two together, what you get is an amped up tobacco with that super, super sweet vanilla that's in this and it is nice. I mean, this smells like a root beer, like an aged vanilla type of joint. I mean, it's it's for $24, that is what I have in both of these, but I'm gonna be correct. This one was $14.99 and this one was $12.99 because the stickers are still on them as you see. But um, yeah. Yeah, this one performs a little bit better and then they're both perfume concentrations. This one does perform a little bit better, but still, this is just a beautiful bottle. I absolutely love it. It smells pretty good. It smells pretty good in the combination of these two. I found myself at work uh, getting whiffs of both of them periodically and that was the cool part about it. There would be times I would move one way and I would smell a little bit more of the uh, Royal Apoptic dogwood blossom and then there would be times I would get a heavy heavy blast of the tobacco from the El Dorado Kingdom and I'm just like that's a cold combination that's a cold combination right there the the two mix well this may be my favorite layering combination or at least for right now and this I would definitely wear this on a cool date night with the hoodie and some jeans or if I had on a, a, a I like to wear a lot of sweaters so like you know um, I would wear it with a nice, nice sweater and on a cool, cool night where I thought I might get some cuddling in after the sizzling. You know, you gotta cuddle out, you take them to the sizzling. Maybe, maybe you can get some cuddling in, a little nicking, you know, in the back seat or whatever. I'm too old for back seats. Not too old for nicking, though. But anyway, these two right here Dogwood Blossom from Royal Apoptic and Cameras El Dorado Kingdom make a great great layering combination at the time of this video it is approaching midnight and i sprayed those on at about six o'clock when i left so you do the math and they are both still kicking strong that's why i didn't spray any of the others on my skin um, as you know i always spray my you know i get excited i'd be like i just got to spray them well that's why because i still smell that both of them, you know, six hours, easily six hours after spraying them on, they are still there and um, 
for $12, guys. I can't encourage you enough to, if you should see that at TJ Maxx or Ross or Burks or Burlington or wherever you see fragrances out of the box, I encourage you to pick them up because they go for a little bit more if you get them online. I wanna say that Royal Apoctic is about 30 online and I think that Kingdom is about 40. So you definitely wanna pick them up at the rack stores and pick them up when you see them because they don't stick around long. And that was the reason that I purchased them because so many times I've saw a fragrance and then like, man, I should have got it. It's not like my boy Manny, I should have got it. And then didn't get it and go back and it's gone. So I've learned to just $12, what's it gonna hurt? Just pick it up, you know? And I found some gems like that. But anyway, guys, that's that, man, that's that. I'm gonna be doing some more of these layering videos because I have a few combinations <laughs> that I use. I have a few combinations that I use. But anyway, man, thank you all so much for returning to the scene of the crime. Uh, when you see this, it's going to be Thursday. Keep your boy in your thoughts and prayers. Got a doctor's appointment for my old eyes in the morning. So let's hope everything goes well with that. Uh, yeah, with that being said, man, I'm going to jump off of here. Thumbnail it, edit it, get it up so you guys can see it. And uh, again, man, I can't thank you all enough for being the best part of this channel and for being so supportive. Um, I really do appreciate each and every one of you, man. And this is this is not my channel. This is our, you know, channel. And I really hope you guys, you know, feel that way. I feel like I'm the people's champ, you know. I feel like I'm the underdog that, you know, it is what it is. And I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. But that being said, guys, I, I do thoroughly appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, and I, you know, I, hey, I love you all. I'm seriously thinking about starting to do some lives too, but I'm gonna have to upgrade my phone and everything before that takes place, but I'm working on that anyway. So um, just gotta get a few more things in line before I drop that big money on the phone, because phones are high these days. But anyway, um, yeah, but that's something I got in the works and I'm, I'm seriously thinking about doing. But anyway, listen, I love you all and may God bless you all. And until next time, guys, peace.